tagged by Mr. Bus Vlogger with a uh, vlog about my pantry. I'm not sure why the pantry is so interesting, but uh, it probably will tell you a lot about me and a lot about how I run my family and how I run my uh, my kitchen. <laughs> uh, incidentally, it is true that uh, that in the the house of six boys, uh, I do do the bulk of the cooking, and uh, I like it. I like cooking. I like preparing food. I like chefing more than I like cooking. Is chefing a word? That's what I like to do. I like to chef. I like to make interesting foods, and uh, so I'm constantly looking for new stuff uh, to try out and uh, experiment on my family. <laughs> my newest experiment is going to be a, uh, a chicken, a whole chicken, a whole roast chicken. I'm going to do that tonight. But in the meantime, the pantry tour. Prefissory note. Wow, I've invented two words so far. Prefissory note. The, this pantry is a post-Costco shop pantry, so be prepared. Here we go. All right, so this is our pantry in the corner of our kitchen, next to the fridge, next to the counter, next to the stove. Yes, those are leftovers. I'm going to eat those later. Here we go. The pantry door opens. The first thing you'll notice is there's stuff all the way up to the ceiling. And uh, the second thing you'll notice is that we have a variety of appliances just kind of thrown in here. So I don't have like an appliance zone. We've got a shake maker up there. It hasn't been used in a few years. We've got a small coffee maker in behind those paper plates. Um, the next appliances are over to the right. But down on the bottom are the ones that get used the most often. This massive crock pot. That's an oblong crock pot. It's much longer than that. Four man toaster. And then down in the pit. The biggest electric grill I could find. That puppy can do six pancakes at a time. And a juicer, which uh, was probably an ill advised purchase, but I haven't had the heart to throw it out yet. And uh, miscellaneous plastic containers and carrots. And uh, yeah, over, over here we have the iron because we have nowhere else to put it in our kitchen and my wife likes to iron in the kitchen and uh, the electric mixy master that's a micro sized mix master because we originally lived in a fifth wheel when we first got married and so we bought small appliances that puppy is still with us and still does the job for us I don't know who goes out and buys these 600 pound mixers but uh, they either must make dozens of loaves at a time or they got more money to burn than I do so going back up to the top I've got the uh, stack of egg cartons, which we were originally buying eggs off of a farmer, and uh, they wanted us to have our own cartons, and uh, then we stopped dealing with that farmer, so now they just sit there. Big bag of tortillas. The recipe on the side of that bag, by the way, is brilliant. There's a, there's a chicken tortilla soup recipe on there that is insane. I love it. I make it all the time. Popcorn by the ton. Fruit snacks by the ton. Ziploc bags by the ton. Flour by the ton. Whey protein. I love my protein shakes, especially smoothies. Oh, down here we got some uh, instant soup, some bananas, some coffee that no one ever drinks, and uh, peanut butter front and center, of course. Iced tea, drinks, vinegar, more popcorn. Ha ha ha. This is for you, James. That's right. Canadian maple syrup. That's right. Jasmine rice. This is something we discovered when we started liking Thai food. And so that's all I buy now for rice. It's easy to cook. It's not as long to cook as other rices, and it tastes fantastic. It's September, and surprisingly, I can already find Chinese mandarin oranges out in the boxes, so I'm excited about that. It's always a joyous time when the Chinese mandarins start arriving on the BC coast. Um, Honey Nut Cheerios is the only box of cereal we have in the house right now because I've discovered some really really rotten things about most cereals and so I also took our kids off of cereal last uh, spring and their attitudes at school seem to improve significantly. Uh, instant mashed potatoes for those days when I just can't be bothered. Uh, those green things are gluten-free um, instant noodles, kind of like ramen noodles, but they're gluten-free, so party on. Hey, I'll down here, got some... Uh, the beef broth is, we buy it in the cartons because it's really hard to find gluten-free uh, beef broth in the powder. Uh, hot chocolate, the popular item. Rich and creamy. KD is always a very popular item. 
some some crackers, some gluten-free spaghetti, some gluten-free noodles. This corner here is like all of the lunch food, so the kids just go in there and tear those boxes apart and throw them in their lunches. We've got some more gluten-free uh, soups. These were some brand new soups they had in Costco. Crazy roasted red pepper feta. Look at this one here. Sweet potato and chana dal lentils. I don't know what that is, but that's crazy. Tuna's a popular item. Some uh, some peaches, some canned peaches. See, I'm not cool. I don't can my own stuff. I just can't be bothered. More canned goods. That Johnny's potato cheddar soup is gluten free. Party on. Uh, the Campbell's cream mushroom soup, which pretty much every single casserole ever known to man involves, is not gluten free. So we've been forced to find other alternatives to casseroles. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm sorry it wasn't more interesting for you, but to quote Forrest Gump, that's all I have to say about that. Sorry. In the meantime, I'm going to go make my roast chicken for dinner. Mm -hmm.